as unfortunate as it is, I'm back to buying nature runes. I, um, I mean, they're not that expensive. The thing is, like, let's see what these are. 216. Yeah, they're not that expensive. <clears throat> I could go rune crafting. I just really do not enjoy rune crafting. I don't know why. I, I might, maybe I'll get back into the ZMI, because I don't mind the ZMI altar. Um, and then when I get to bloods, you know, that's, that's a, there's an AFK method, you know what I mean? So, but I think, I think for now, I'll just go back to buying them. Um, I feel like it's such a waste, but you gotta think, I mean, what, what's the, what did I say the most was? Well, I don't know, it's like 250 or something, right? Turn sixteen. Two twenty four. Two twenty four is the most. So I mean, really, if you're out out can anything above a thousand, I mean you're obviously still making profit, right? But Turn on, uh, no, not entity. Oh, here we go. This is what I want. Uh, so yeah, I mean, you're still making, you're still making a profit. I really need to runecraft. I just, I don't, I don't enjoy it. You know? I don't know why. I just don't enjoy it at all. So I'm going to spend my four mil. Or if I get 10,000, I'll probably stop there. Aha, this is why I brought my 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 uh, net. But, uh, oh, shoot. I, I'll, I'll stop at 10K. I've already got 1.2K and I still got 4 mil. I'm not going to spend the whole 4 mil. But yeah, I'm just, I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of runecrafting. I thought the, the thieving method I really do think is um, beneficial. I, you know, I think if there weren't PKers, then absolutely. But, uh, you know, I mean, there's, there's obviously it's the wilderness. It's PKers. I kind of don't like how Jagex does that where they will put like high GP per hour content in the wilderness just to get people to go PK there. You know what I mean? Like it's. It's just it's just a constant <clears throat> they're in a constant battle of keeping the wilderness active. And people that PK in the wilderness all the time are always like, hey, it's not active enough. Nobody PKs. But the thing is, I go out in the wilderness and I get PK'd just all the time. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> I just I, I don't know. What do you mean by active? Are you like, are you all logging in at like four in the morning? Like, like, like when is it not active? Cause you know, at least on weeknights, may, maybe it's during the day. I don't know. Well, I'm at work and can't play, you know, like, I, I don't know. Like what, what, it, what exactly is everybody complaining about? And so Jagex always Jagex always tries to cater to the PKers, which I mean it's fine. You want to keep them happy, I guess, but they always try to get non PKers to come in, and then the PKers can kill them. <laughs> why not? Why not make it so PKers want to fight PKers? I, I don't. I, I just don't understand. I don't understand, and I've never really been a PKer, right? So I don't fully get the mentality of PKers anyways, but, uh, I, I don't know. That's just my two cents. Granted, I'm more of a skiller. I'm not even really much of a PVM or, you know, so, but yeah, I'll just buckle down and buy the nature runes. It was good to get our thieving up. We did a lot of easy clues, which was nice, but I'm, I'm just sick of it. So I'm just going through buying all the nature runes. All right, <clears throat> went ahead and bought them all, 12,000. 
I spent uh, two, three, like 2.2 mil. Is that right? Yeah, 2.2 mil. So not too bad, but now I've got 12,209 nature runes. Oh, I've got more than that. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, so I will be able to alk all of these. Oh, I only had 7,000. I thought I had 10,000. So <clears throat> I'll be alk all these. I can make those into long bows. And then what else we got? I thought we had something else to alk, but maybe not. I mean, we've got, we've got some rune items too. Not a ton, but, uh, you know, we've got a little bit. Battle staffs. Oh, I got the battle staffs. Oh, I gotta start buying battle staffs again. Ah, there's so much to do. So much to do. So little time. I gotta check my kingdom too. But, uh, that's what I'm up to. Oh, and as, uh, Cooper helped me decipher, coal in the kingdom is not worth it because you can buy the coal from blast furnace and so it's just it's just not it's not financially worth it like it's it's less gp per coal if you do it through the blast furnace rather than doing it through uh the kingdom so there you have it the more you know Hello, just alking away. I didn't realize I've done a thousand laps in Relica. Got uh, 85 agility still, 90 magic still. Uh, we did get a fletching level. I don't know if I talked about. So we got a fletching level. Did a little bit of wood cutting, not too much, but uh, but yeah, just uh, enjoying Jurassic World while I play RuneScape. Alking and agility. I would rather do this than runecrafting. Is that weird? Probably. I don't know why. I just, I really don't mind agility. As much as I don't like runecrafting. Anyways, just want to give you an update. Hello. Little update. Getting ready to do a farm run. But uh, shout out to Mario and Jasper. So Mario gave me... And I'll give it back to him once I'm done with it. But he gave me just just around 7,000 uh, magic short bows and bowstring uh, to, <clears throat> to craft. Fletch, I should say. Um, so I'll fletch that for him and get the XP. Then he also gave me 2,008 Harlanders, 1,562 Aventos, and 1,973 Terramons. Grimy which I will clean myself just for some extra XP. And then <clears throat> Jasper gave me, I don't even know. He gave me diamond bolt tips. I think he gave me the diamonds too. I took a screenshot. Let me see what he gave me. Yeah, he gave me 847 diamonds. So I had one in my bank, it looks like. Um, but yeah, to make diamond bolts E. And so I'll fletch these and then add those and enchant them. So cool to be able to help. I'm helping the group out. But the benefit for me is I'm getting the XP for it. Uh, and Zesmo always gives me the runes for this stuff too. I've done a little bit for him before. I did some Amasis starts. Uh, I did the broad bolts that I turned into Amasis broad bolts. So yeah, I, I feel like it's a win-win. Um, obviously they don't mind because they trade them to me. So, but I, you know, I'm not going to steal it. I could, <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'll be working on this week. Oh, and also I got 86 agility. Uh, did I say that already? I don't know if I said that or not, but either way, agility levels are always nice. Just doing some basilic knights and should be getting a range level here momentarily. So that'll bring us up to 84 range. Doesn't, no, there, yeah, there's no way it'll give me a combat level, which is fine. 
Uh, but it'll bring us up to 2038 total level. There we go. 84. No jaw in sight, but uh, I did I did lose the battle of the jaws because uh, Jasper already got his jaw. He got it. He got it a while ago now, like a week or two, maybe, maybe a week and a half. So alas, I was wondering for a minute there if my friends list wasn't working because literally nobody was online, which is odd. You know, usually there's always somebody there. But uh, not tonight. Well, but now a couple of friends logged in. But I need to go to bed. I got an earlier shift tomorrow. So got to get ready for that by going to bed early. So I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Bye. I actually got over 200 at Tears of Guthix. I feel like that's a lot. I mean, I do have all the quests done except for one. Still only 13k XP, but considering I'm putting it in rune crafting, that's not bad. Got a fletching level today. I think that's about all I did today. Oh, I'll probably go do some Slayer tonight or something. I don't know. I don't know. My start bar keeps disappearing and then not coming back up, which is kind of annoying. I don't know why. Hmm. Oh, well. Anyways, hope everybody's doing well. All right. Decided to do <coughs> some achievement diaries instead. I just need to teleport to Waterbirth Island. Does the group one work? It does. So there we go. Finish the hard Fremenic achievements. Very nice. I don't want to stay on the Lunar Book, but I guess I'll stay on it for now. But uh, let us go get our reward. I think the best part is I think we can finally use that shortcut <clears throat> for the Herb Patch. Which will be super convenient for my farm runs. Which I did start farming the low-level herbs now that I heard that you got to use your own herbs for the new farming or the new herb lore minigame. Uh, which is kind of a bummer. Especially if it gives low XP, what's the point, you know? But uh, I still figured I'd have some saved up just in case I feel like doing it. Alright. Upgrade the sea boots. Uh, the Lear Teleport can be changed to Waterbirth Island. Shortcut to the Roof of Troll Stronghold. Yes. Access to two new Lunar Spells. What are the two new Lunar Spells? I'm definitely throwing this in Runecrafting. 15k! Very nice. What are the two new Lunar Spells? I have no idea. Oh well. Whatever. I do need 82 rune crafting for the next one. So I, I'm just I just do the ones that I have the levels for when I feel like doing them. I haven't really been going for the levels themselves. Uh you know, that just kinda happens over time. Uh seventy seven rune crafting. Elite. Yeah, I don't have the levels for that. But yeah, just kind of doing my thing. Um, oh, I can actually do the Elite for Mortania. Might as well do that. Mortania Herb Patch using Lunar Magic. Yeah. Uh, I think this one I was waiting for 85 uh, Slayer, which I did get. So I'll just go ahead and do this one. An exciting thing. I'm about to kill my first Abyssal Demon. Wish me luck. I uh, was wearing this uh, um, Barrow set to do the, the Barrow's Run. I thought I had to use the Barrow set in the Barrow's Run, but apparently I just need to wear it while I loot the chest. But I did still go ahead and wear it. Because why not? 
Let's see if I get a one kill count whip. That would be hilarious. Off task too. Boom. What we got? Steel battle axe. Cool. I stood here waiting for this herb patch to grow so I could cast fertile soil on it. And elite task. That's pretty exciting. Is this my first elite? It is. My very first elite one done. Let's go get the reward. Or shoot, do we get it up? Where do we get it? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cannabis. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to use the Slayer Ring. But yeah, first elite done. Thank you, Bill. Bill Wienerd. <laughs> I don't even know how to say that. Is it Wainerd? Wienerd? Wienerd? But let's go get that reward. Sorry, I, maybe I shouldn't have recorded right away. Do do do. I'll sing a song for you. Do 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 do. All right, I've completed my elite stuff. Okay, bone meal for bones. Ten percent increased Slayer XP in the Slayer Tower. There's a new herb farming patch on Harmony Island. Okay. That's actually good. I should probably use that. 50% uh, more experience when cremating shade remains. And the experience provided by the bone crusher has, has been increased too. That's pretty big. Now I just got to start using the bone crusher. And I think this should get us... Oh, this will definitely get us a rune crafting level. 74 rune crafting. Do -do 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 -do. 2040 total level. Very nice. Alright, well, it's time for bed. I'll talk to you later. Bye! Oh, you missed it. All I did was throw my hand up in excitement. But, uh, we got the basilisk jaw. We got the basilisk jaw. I didn't go dry. I didn't go dry. 209 kills. 209 kills. Hee 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 hee. That was pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Very nice. Making some gains. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Couple kills later. We got a basilisk head. 212 kills. So, cool. New collection log completed. Oh, thank you, Sea Engineer. Whee!